Hello everyone, this is our 25th video tutorial under the GCSE topic revision project called 2D Pythagoras. This Pythagoras theorem, only one equation you need to remember. When we are discussing the exam style question, I will let you know what equation you need to remember. Hi everyone, this is the video tutorial about the 2D Pythagoras theorem. You can download the, the tutorial from our website at www.smart-tutors.co.uk forward slash worksheet.php or follow the description. There's a link provided. You can use the link to download the entire tutorial set. Let's look at the exam style questions. First question, a rectangular television screen has a with 45 centimeter and the height is 34 centimeter find out the diagonal length is the question so the diagonal is the hypotenuse of the triangle so what is the pythagoras theorem is if you see a right angle triangle the 90 degrees is this the opposite side is the hypotenuse which i am going to mark as a, a. the other two side b and c the Pythagoras theorem says a squared equal b squared plus c squared. That is the only one equation you need to remember for the entire this tutorial. So apply the Pythagoras theorem for this TV question. The diagonal, let's say d, so d squared. So let's mark the diagonal as d. So d squared equal 45 squared plus 34 squared. So D equal square root of 45 squared plus 34 squared. So you can use the calculator to straight away find the answer. They specifically ask for answer to the nearest centimeter. So you can on the calculator square root of 45 squared plus 34 squared. So you can straight away and the both of them and square root equal 56.4 nearest to centimeter means the 4 is a smaller than 5 so 56 centimeter is the answer so answer is the diagonal of the television is 56 centimeter that is the answer for my first question second question a triangle is given right angle you can see find the length of bc straight away i can label that as a x so x squared equal 20 squared plus 10 squared so x equal square root of 20 squared plus 10 squared so x equal it's again press the calculator to find the answer so i'll show you how i'm pressing the calculator so 20 squared so before i put the square root because square root is both for the both numbers so 20 squared plus 10 squared so that is the answer 10 root 5 so find the length they asking if they are asking for decimal number or you can leave it as a 10 root 5 or 22.36 so 10 root 5 is the answer you can leave it as a third form or the answer is you can leave it as a in the um, decimal format if they ask for in this question they didn't ask for it i'm going to leave it as it is 10 root 5. question number three a b c d is a trapezium a d is parallel to b c so a d is parallel to b c so this is parallel and um, angle a and b are 90 degrees AD is 2.1, AB is 1.9, CD is 3.2. Work out the length BC. Give your answer to the correct three, sec three second unit figures. Right? So what we are going to do is, I'm going to show you the quickest method to do. If I drop a perpendicular line here, so this is going to be my 90 degrees. And this is 2.1 so that is going to be 2.1 up to here and we need to find out this length x and this is 1.9 this has to be 1.9 right 
So the same question, you need to do some little bit of working to find out the BC. So the BC is, the answer BC is 2.1 plus X. So now we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem. So 3.2 squared equal 1.9 squared plus X squared. So rearrange the X squared equal 3.2 squared minus 1.9 squared. So X equal square root of 3.2 squared minus 1.9 squared. So that is the answer for X. So let's bring the calculator and uh, do the square root and 3.2 squared minus 1.9 squared and the answer is 2.57 so 2.57 so give your answer to the correct three significant figure so three significant figure means one two three so two point i'm going to say 2.57 right so 2.57 answer for this one to 3 sf now if i find out the bc is 2.1 plus 2.57 so that is going to be 4.67 to 3 sf dot dot three significant figures that is my answer for the question number three question number four work out the length of ln so i'm going to put this as x so this is the hypotenuse always you need to write the hypotenuse first 6.3 squared equal x squared plus 3.7 squared if you can you can write straight away x squared equal 6.3 squared minus 3.7 squared if you can that's brilliant x equals square root of 6.3 squared minus 3.7 squared so bring back the calculator again so in the calculator we are going to make it zero square root of 6.3 squared minus 3.7 squared equal root 26 5.099 so 5.099 is the answer 5.099 they are asking three significant figures one two three so this one will give here to one so the answer is going to be 5.1023 sf that is the answer 5.10 for the question number four question number five this is looks like a 3d question but it's not a 3d question if you see the question a spider is walking along the path a to b b to c c to d d to e work out the total length spider's path so a to b b to c c to d d to e so we need to ask each and every length it's going to be in a 2d shape Say for an example, AB is the hypotenuse of this right angle. So this is the right angle. So AB squared equal, this side is 4, so this is 2, so this has to be 2. So in this right angle triangle, AB squared is 5 squared plus 2 squared. So AB equal square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared. Now the next one is BC. So BC squared equal, this is the height is 3 here. So 3 squared plus 4 squared. Why? This is a right angle triangle. So BC is the hypotenuse, 3 and 4 is the other side. So BC equal square root of 3 squared and 4 squared. Now CD, so CD squared, so CD is the diagonal again, so this is the 5 and this is 3, so this is the right angle, so this is the hypotenuse. 
So CD squared equal 5 squared plus 3 squared. And CD equal square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared. Finally, DE. So DE squared equal DE equal 3 squared plus 2.5 squared. And DE equal square root of 3 squared plus 2.5 squared. We don't want to find out the each and every length. You can say total path. So total path equal AB plus BC plus CD plus DE. So if you find the individual path, you're going to be making some roundup error. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press all the answer in one go. How I'm going to do square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared and come outside plus again square root. You can do that in the calculator. So 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is the my BC and come out one step then plus uh, then square root again 5 squared and plus 3 squared and come out and again square root of 3 squared plus 2.5 squared and that is the answer 33.15 they didn't ask any significant figures. I'm going to put 33.164, 33.164 nearest to decimal point. So the answer is 33 point. So the unit is centimeter. So the answer also final answer 33.16 centimeter. Question number six, A, B, C, D, are points on a circle ABCD is a square of a side 7 cm work out the total area of the shaded region so first of all we need to find out this if I connect this one right and the intersection is going to be the center of the circle and square this also 7 cm so the BD is the diameter BD squared equal 7 squared plus 7 squared. So BD equal square root of 49 plus 49. So this is going to be 7 root 2. Oh, if you want, we can press the calculator and find out the answer. So square root of 49 plus 49 2 times 49 which is 7 root 2 keep that answer as it is and we will find out the radius so the diameter bd is going to be the diameter and i'm going to find the radius is half of this one radius is 7 root 2 divided by 2 so that is the radius of the circle. I can find out the area of the circle. So area of the circle, we will have a separate tutorial of the area of the 2D shape. But this question is comes under Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to do this one. I hope you know the equation of the area of a circle is pi r squared. So pi times r squared which is 7 root 2 over 2 whole thing squared which is pi times 49 root 2 squared is 2 and 2 squared is bottom is 4 here so 2 cancel with here 4 so it's going to be 49 pi over 2 is the total area of the circle right so once you find out that one area of the square area of the square which is 7 by 7 
7 times 7 which is 49 centimeter squared so shaded area shaded area equal 49 pi over 2 minus 49 so that is the answer for the question so if we can use the calculator to find out that one so proceed 49 times pi pi divided by 2 whatever the answer minus 49 so the answer is 27.97 but give your answer to correct to nearest whole number so 28 centimeter squared so 28 centimeter squared for the nearest whole number question number seven umar thinks a plus one whole thing squared equal a squared plus one for all the values of a show that umar is wrong so a plus one whole thing squared we have done the tutorial number two expanding brackets so a plus one and the second bracket also a plus one so expand a times a is a squared a plus another a plus one so the answer is a squared plus two a plus one next part here are the two right angle triangles all the measurements are in centimeters and show that 2a plus 2b plus 1 equal 2c so how can we prove this one so two right angle triangles given one is a b c the other one is a plus 1 b plus 1 c plus 1 you need to prove this one 2a plus 2b plus 1 equal 2c first start with a small triangle so small triangle the equation is c squared equal a squared plus b squared right and the second triangle is c plus one whole thing squared equal a plus one whole thing squared plus b plus one whole thing squared so if i expand this one c squared plus 2c plus one and this one will a squared plus 2a plus one and this one will b squared plus 2b plus 1. I'm going to substitute c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. So instead of this c squared, I'm going to substitute a squared plus b squared plus 2c plus 1 equal a squared plus 2a plus 1 plus b squared plus 2b plus 1 a squared a squared cancel b squared b squared cancel so the 2c plus 1 equal 2a plus 1 plus 2b plus 1 i can cut further one of the plus 1 plus 1 cancel so 2c equal 2a plus 2b oh sorry plus 1 so that's what they're asking you to prove so that is the second part answer third part a comma b comma c cannot all be integers explain why because if you say 2c equal 2a plus 2b plus 1 if i divide everything by 2 c equal a plus b plus half so if a is the whole number b also whole number but definitely c can't be a whole number because two whole numbers with a fraction it's not going to be an integer so right here if a comma b is whole number a and b are whole number or integer c can't be an 
integer why you can put some substitution and say right a equal to you can put any value b equal 5 then 5 plus 2 is 7 7 and a half is going to be the c so this c cannot be the integer so therefore a comma b and c cannot be cannot all be integers so that is the answer for question number seven question number eight the diagram shows four right angle triangles arranged next to each other prove set squared equal a squared plus b squared plus d squared plus f squared plus h squared so how can we prove this one so if i write the equation for set squared what is set squared set squared this is the right angle triangle h squared plus g squared right so what is g squared this what is the g squared g squared is the hypotenuse for the second triangle g squared equal f squared plus e squared then e, e is the hypotenuse for the third triangle so the e is the hypotenuse for the third triangle so e squared equal c squared plus d squared so c squared is what c squared equal a squared plus b squared so if you write set squared set squared equal h squared plus g squared g squared equal f squared plus e squared e squared equal c squared plus d squared so this c squared i'm going to replace with a squared plus b squared so if i write that again set squared equal a squared plus b squared plus d squared plus f squared plus h squared so that is the answer they ask you to prove so this is first pythagoras theorem second pythagoras theorem third one fourth one so four right angle triangles four pythagoras theorem as long as you understand the g squared can be replaced by a different two letters then the e squared can be two different letters then c squared can be two different letters then everything arrange it again you will get the answer that is the end of the question number eight that is the end of the video tutorial i hope you like the video the way we explaining and the way we doing the question if there's a theory behind the topic revision we will always discuss in the first five minutes of the video clip so please keep an eye on the theory behind this topic in this tutorial there is hardly any theory on this 2d pythagoras all what you want to know is in any right angle triangle the hypotenuse square equal other two sides squares addition so c squared equal a squared plus b squared that's all you need to know and i have done some couple of exam style question practice that one that is the end of this session please if you can share this link to your friends if you need any help um, subscribe to our channel to watch out the future videos thank you so much